Gavlin's very fast with that left hook. something we're getting queries on it already if Wammer wins this he doesn't win the title it's not at stake tonight they both came in over the limit 147 is the limit one weighed 152 and a half that's Wammer Gavlin 151 it's a 10 round fight Seconds left in round nine. Gavlin scoring with many punches. Lammer is fighting back as hard as he can now. The crowd's on its feet. There's the bell for the end of round nine. Neither fighter heard it. That's bang, bang, Lammer you're looking at. Listen to this crowd. Now, down there is Danny Bang Bang Wammer, who has put up an amazing fight tonight. Here is the last round. The chips are down. This is round 10. Bang Bang Wammer, you're looking at him. Fighting the weatherweight champion of the world, Kid Gavilan. You're looking at Wammer. He'll come out fast. Here he is. Absolutely little chance. I was going to say none, but very little before this fight began. Gavlin, a magnificent fighting machine. Halfway through round 10.
30 seconds left in the whole fight. It's the last round. Just very quickly, when you go out driving tomorrow, why don't you put one of these in your glove compartment? This is the handy Philly Fresh Pack. Every smoker's assurance of a cigar that's always fresh and a mighty convenient way to add to your motoring pleasure, too. Now, quickly, before the decision, let me show you what I mean here. They're triple sealed, you know, to guard all that Philly's flavor. There's number one. That's the carton as it arrives at your dealer's shelf. And then here, this is cellophane wrapper number two. And then, of course, each individual Phillies cigar, as I've showed you many times, has the zipper band, and it's wrapped three times, three times, to guard all that fine Phillies freshness and genuine smoking satisfaction. So tomorrow, when you get down to the cigar counter, ask for Phillies Fresh Pack. You'll like them. America's number one cigar. I want this decision, and so does six or 7,000 people here. Come on, Bill. All right, we're waiting for the announcer to pick up the slips now. That's Danny Bang Bang Warmer you're looking at. He was dancing with joy just a moment ago. He knows he's made a very good showing. Of course, now we're going to get the decision on uh, who will be the ultimate winner. That's Bang Bang Warmer you're looking at. Right around him, George Gainford, his manager, and Jim Lambert, his trainer. There's Kid Gavilan, and he's surrounded by Mendito Mandana, his trainer, and by Angel Lopez, his manager. Two men are standing with him. Bouncing up and down, that's the welterweight champion of the world, Kid Gavlin, while everybody is waiting for the decision in this fight. And the spectators are up off their seats, standing at attention, waiting to hear what it's going to be. That's Gavlin you're looking at. Commissioner Dan Dowd is checking the cards. Back to the commissioner to get him checked all over again. Judge Kimball scores five, three, two, even Wamba. <laughs> Roughly, Ruby Gosey scores six, three, one, even Wamba. Lovers won the fight. There's an upset for you. The title doesn't go, but Wamba beat him. Six, three, one, even, Wamba. Wamba by a unanimous decision. Oh, he's a happy boy. He's got his arms around his manager, George Gainford. George Gainford. That's a tremendous upset. Well, now, as Bill has told you all evening long, our fight tonight originated from Syracuse through the facilities of the TV station here, WHEN. Our director, as always, is Burke Crotty. Our technical director for the ABC network was Phil Levins. And locally, our technical director was Bill Enyon. Oh, uh, which reminds me, if you get a chance, if you happen to see me on the street and uh, want to say hello, that calls for an automatic fill.